Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh Bashem, that was shy, Bashem, Bakakradash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors to the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird among the heathen that look like the heathen. And to the aquaf that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago, continuing on in the spirit. Um, it's the second Thessalonians two and eight, just read it in the last lesson. I'm going to read it again. And it reads, then shall the wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And uh, the Lord is coming. All right, and he's coming soon. All right, um, because you know the scripture says he will pour out his spirit upon all flesh, and his sons and daughters shall shall prophesy and and dream dreams. Man, the dreams are coming heavy, you know. Um, and you you know the dreams are coming heavy, and not only to the Israelites but to the heathen alike, you know. But uh, I'm gonna let a little bit more of this video play before I go into this uh this dream. Um, that I had and the reason I'm playing this video because I went to sleep watching this video and then had this dream all right so after this uh you know after hearing this information which actually excited me because this lets me know that then what you know Babylon is that much closer to falling and that the Lord is that much closer to to uh coming to 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 take this place down and to to rescue um and set up the elect as the governing uh, you know, set up his kingdom, you know, it, like, like the scripture says on earth as it is in heaven, the kingdom of heaven and his kingdom, Yahweh Shai's name, Yahweh why Yahweh Shai's name will be glorified and exalted and the kingdom of heaven will be set up with the, uh, with the elect, those first fruits, the 144,000 being the governing body that he's going to set up to rule the world with in, in righteousness. All right. Of the documents. I have all the information. We could do two hours just on the bioweapons labs in Ukraine. Maybe we'll do that in the coming week to expose what they were actually working on to kill Russian citizens with bioweapons. And everybody thought this was a conspiracy theory. When this first came out over a month ago, it was revealed that there were 12 bioweapons laboratories operated by the United States companies. But that wasn't the truth, folks. Because Victoria Newland, which is also involved in this, Victoria Newland testified before the U.S. Congress that there are over 30, over 30, there weren't 12, there are over 30 of these bioweapons laboratories ran by Americans in the Ukraine. Mm. The, uh, trying to weaponize all of these deadly pathogens to be released on Russia. Folks, this is docu documented. Russia has taken over many of these laboratories already. They have the documents, folks. They have the documents, and they're starting to release the documents of the involvement of Hunter Biden, Joe Biden's son, on the behalf of our dear leader. So maybe we'll do a special report on that. I don't know. There's so much news coming in, but the evidence is coming out, folks. The evidence is coming out. This is Isaiah uh, 12, I mean 14, starting at verse 12, and it reads, How have thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How have thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou said in thine heart, I will ascend into the heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. That's North America. It says, uh, <clears throat> I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. They've made themselves godlike with all their science, you know, their trust. <laughs> Someone had put these up. Let me grab one of these. Would have made a good sign. We still were allowed to carry signs in in Chicago, but it says, <laughs> "Right, trust." All right, in the scientism, 
<laughs> and all the sheeple that believe. But see, you know, Esau Edom is completely and totally ex exposed. All right. And it says, uh, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. And they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee. You know how you squint your eyes at somebody? All right. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee saying, is this the man? Lucifer was the subject matter. So the devil is Esau Edom. Satan. They are the wicked. And they will say, is this the man that made the earth to tremble? That did it shake a kingdom? People are going to narrowly look upon them. It's like, man, this, this, this low base man was ruling over us. He was the one that did all this. You know, the reverse of how it says the wisdom of Solomon, these are the children of the most high. Them, the, the, these, these darkies, these brownies. Yeah. And like I said, I probably got 20 articles just on those bioweapon labs up here. Like I said, we can't go on for four or five hours tonight. People aren't going to stay that long, but we'll have to do a special broadcast on that. So let's go to the next article. Um, this is just another article from War News 24-7. Let me get this up on the screen for you. Talking about that the world is now not... War News 24-7 is a Greek uh, um, channel. That that's what, and it's exactly what it says. War News 24-7. And they put up, you know, information from people that are on the ground in these places, what they're putting up, and it translates it into English or whatever language you want, want it to be in. All right? So whatever language you want, you hit the translate. So that's the, the one of the main sources that he uses. not going to be able to buy Russian gas unless they pay in rubles. This is from War News 24-7. Uh, I've got about five articles at least five articles showing you all of this evidence. Putin signs decree from tomorrow the VAT payments in rubles. Europe will pay the submission to the United States. Russian President Vladimir Putin recently signed a decree requiring foreign buyers to pay in rubles for Russian gas from April the 1st. The Russian president stressed that the contracts will be terminated That's the if day. these payments are not made, denying that there was a Russian withdrawal from the ultimatum he had set a few days ago. In order to buy Russian gas, they have to open ruble accounts in Russian banks. Payments for the gas will be made from these accounts, which will be, will, which will be delivered from tomorrow. He said existing contracts for the purchase of Russian gas will cease to apply in the event refusal to pay in the rubles. And here is the video. Uh, they actually got him on video right now. I'm not going to play it, but please go to these articles once I post them, and you can read all of the information. Energy chaos is coming to Germany. So basically, you know, the sanctions backfired. There is no more wisdom uh, in, in teaming, man. The sanctions, the sanctions completely and totally backfired. Uh, it's not working in America's favor. America's uh, allies are submitting to the Russian system and are going to buy uh, uh, power and gas in in the in the in the uh, in the in the uh, uh, Russian currency. So we're witnessing the the downfall. So let me just quickly go into this you know to this this dream that I had last night and try to you know break it down and. Um, I can tell you that this is basically Yahweh's spirit was among us, and he was, you know, dealing directly with the prophets. We had like caravans that were full of, uh, and these caravans with all the prophets, uh, and I'm in a, in a men of the great millstone. Um, it's like he gave us the. We had like these big campers, all right, and these campers were really. Low key were, were chariots, and the spirit of the of the Lord had to be on you to even drive this thing. And the one that was piloting it, pil the brother that was piloting the the camper that I was in with other prophets, the brother uh, ICR from the from the Charlotte camp was there with me, and a whole bunch of other brothers. 
uh, from different camps, and but mostly the men from my camp. And we win this gigantic. And the crazy thing is it's like on the outside, it looked like just a big luxury uh, uh, SUV. But when you got inside of it, it was as big as a, like an apartment building. Like a, it was huge. It was ginormous on the inside. It was the spirit of the Lord, man. It was it was nuts. And um, the brother uh, Yazara Allah was actually the pilot. The Lord put the spirit on him because cause any brother just couldn't pilot these things. The Lord, the Lord is very specific and, 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 and it's all about order with him. So even the, even the people who were appointed to drive these vehicles were chosen by the Lord to drive these vehicles. And these vehicles were basically all over America. And, and, and uh, it was like the last push for the prophets to go and speak to, to the elect before the, or, or for the, before the hopefully elect, before the Lord was to come and annihilate. And that's basically what was going on in, in, in this, in this dream. And I just remember, um, you know, when we were riding and, and, um, and then we stopped and like some, some small town, some area we were, we were, look, I think we were in California at, the, at this particular time. Um, and, and a brother said, Hey, hey brother, you got, a, you got a visitor. And um, it was actually my ex-wife who, I won't go into details or anything like that, but who had trans, transgressed against me. And she came in very humbly, um, seeking forgiveness, you know, and, and trying to apologize. And she brought, and she came bearing gifts. She actually brought three with, women with her to become wives. And, um, and I remember one of the... Uh, and and Murph was actually in the uh the brother Jeremiah, the mighty Murph was in the was in uh the room with me when when you know when when they when she walked in with these women and brought these three women and one was uh was a you know a really attractive uh sister from the from the northern kingdom I mean from the uh southern kingdom very dark and the other two were were northern kingdom and um and I remember uh accepting two of them and and the other one went with mirth. And, uh, but the point being is that she came seeking forgiveness and all, and you know, and I'm always telling my men, we have to give mercy in order to receive mercy. All right. So, you know, I thought about all the things, all the wickedness that I have done and that, you know, and that the Lord is using me to do his will. And so I forgave her, you know, and I accepted her back as a wife along with the gifts that she brought me, you know, and that was, you know, and, and then I also remember that she couldn't ride, even though she was on the vehicle, she couldn't ride. They couldn't ride on the vehicle. Only the men of the Lord could. So she actually was, was able to join the caravan by getting in my vehicle, my, and it was an old, old Mustang that I had a 65 Mustang that I used to have three speed. Man, I kind of missed that, missed that car, but, and she can't even drive a, a, a stick, but she and the, and the, and the wives were in that car and the car was following the caravan automatically. She didn't have to drive it or anything. All they had to do was sit down. That just goes to show you the power of the Lord. But you know, but it, you know, but you just have to understand brothers that the Lord is letting us know in so many ways, you know, like you're looking at this news and all things that are happening in the world, uh, that this thing is close, all right? Because because the truth 